What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video here on the official cdkeys.com YouTube channel. cdkeys.com, the most fantastic place on the internet to go and pick yourself up some amazing video games for even more amazing prices. And yes, I might be biased because I make the videos on this channel, but however, it, seriously, the prices speak for themselves. Check out the website. It's linked below if you're looking for something cool to play this summer. And speaking of cool things to play this summer, it is no secret that we've been in a little bit of a video game drought lately. I mean, we've had Stray. And, and a couple of months ago, Elden Ring. But other than that, there is actually cool games to play. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five games to play on Xbox Game Pass this summer. And if you don't know what Xbox Game Pass is, it is a subscription model from Microsoft where you pay a flat rate each month and you can download as many games as you want in the Game Pass library. And it is fantastic. So worth the money. And there is thousands of games to play there. So it's pretty worth it if that's something you want to check out. So without further ado, let's jump into the top five Game Pass games this summer. And if you like the video at any point, be sure to leave a like on it. It lets us know that you like content like this and subscribe if you're new as well. All right, coming in at number one, we have Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition. This is a completely reworked version of everyone's favorite space RPG, Mass Effect. If you've never played Mass Effect and you're a fan of RPGs or you want to relive this absolute masterpiece, the Legendary Edition is where you need to do it. It overhauls the game with some nicer textures and amazing graphics, as well as improves some overall quality of life things as well. Honestly, Mass Effect is just such a staple of people who are into action RPGs at the minute, and it has really cemented its place in RPG history. Your choices matter in this game. There's plenty of different endings and dialogue options and characters to meet and explore and incredible space battles to get into as well. If you're the type of person who's into a narrative rich game with a lot of side questing and a lot of characters to meet and things to do, Mass Effect will keep you busy for hundreds of hours. People consistently play these games and replay them all the time, and there's a reason for that. So if this is something you might be into, make sure you check out Mass Effect Legendary Edition now. Up next is unpacking. Anyone who's ever moved house uh, or moved countries, and like in my case, will know the experience of having to pack up all your belongings and move them out and put them in a new place and make them nice. That's basically unpacking, except unpacking makes it fun. Unpacking is a really zen puzzle game where basically you have to unpack boxes in your new space and make things as nice and neat as possible. And I know that kind of sounds like, well, why would we make chores a video game? But it is actually a ton of fun and super relaxing. Think Tetris, but with a house and some really nice pixel graphics as well to check out. I actually had a surprising amount of fun with this game when I was doing my research for this video. I downloaded the game and, I, and before I knew it, like two and a half hours had gone by and I was like, okay, yeah, I like this. But for real, if you're looking for a nice relaxing game experience that you can play either solo or co-op, you should definitely check out Unpacking. It is a ton of fun. Up next, we have the Hitman Trilogy. Play as Agent 47, the iconic Hitman character in this assassin-based video game where you experienced not one, but two, but three video games all from the Hitman trilogy. In this game, you must plot out assassinating your targets in multiple different ways, use many different techniques, some quite normal and some absolutely wacky and out there and wild, and work your way through this incredible franchise. Honestly, the Hitman games are so fun. I love the way that it just encompasses basically every type of gamer's playstyle into one game. Whether you want to be completely stealth and take out targets without ever having been seen, or in my case, run and gun your way through a map causing as much chaos as possible, you can do that in these games. They're super unique and they offer a ton of replayability because like that, you can play through each level multiple different ways, literally multiple. So if you've ever flirted with the idea of trying out the Hitman games or just want to play them again, you can pick up Hitman 1, 2, and 3 all in this trilogy bundle on Game Pass now. Coming in at number four, we have Tunic. This is one of my favorite games of 2022. Tunic is the cutest little Souls-like game I have ever seen. And yes, it may not look threatening, I genuinely found this game harder than Elden Ring. In this game, you play as this cute little fox creature trying to work your way through a fairly vast world in this kind of top-down roguelike camera angle and encountering both enemies and bosses along the way, as well as upgrades and loads of skills and abilities to try out. The game is punishingly difficult and really doesn't offer you a lot in the way of direction at all. Fans of Souls-like games such as Dark Souls or Bloodborne will actually really, really like this one. But if you're a fan of kind of cutesy RPGs as well, this could be the game for you. Be wary though, it is so hard. Now, I mean so hard, but it's well worth playing through it. And I really, really, really do recommend this one. 
And finally on our list of Game Pass games to play this month, we have Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. This one sees your favorite gang of space miscreants off doing some crazy stuff around the galaxy. Play as the Guardians of the Galaxy in this Marvel adventure and fight some foes recognizable and old as well. Expect all the witty jokes and gags and voice lines that you've come to expect from the Guardians of the Galaxy and have a ton of fun playing through it in this game. The gameplay in this is actually phenomenal and just one of those games that's a little bit more kind of easier, maybe just kind of turn off your brain for a few hours and blow up some stuff as Star-Lord. It is a great time and offers some really amazing fan service to fans of the movies or fans of the comics as well. The storyline is also really, really, really cool and I love the interactions between each of the Guardians as well. It is a ton of fun. Plenty to do in this game as well and quite a lengthy storyline so you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this one, but technically you're getting bang for your buck anyway because you're downloading it through game pass so everybody those are the top five games we think you should play this summer on game pass did you agree with our picks let us know down below and if you decide to check out any of these games for yourself do let us know which one you enjoyed the most in the comment section below and if you want to check out game pass for yourself make sure you head on over to cdkeys.com and check out all the deals we have over there on the game pass subscriptions thank you all for watching i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and enjoy the rest of your summer and your games peace out much love bye bye